Ooh, welcome everyone to another episode of Slasher Scotty. I am your host, Scotty McCoy, and boy, do I have a surprise for all of you. I have on Zoom with me right now Moses Mosley, and he played the zombified Mike, Michonne's pet, in The Walking Dead. Hey, Moses, how you doing? Doing awesome, man. Thanks for having me, man. It's awesome. Thank you. Yes, I'm so glad that I can have you on. I know I reached out to you and I got, and then uh, you were more than open to doing it. And then uh, you uh, hit me up with uh, Thache as well. And he's going to be doing it in a couple, I believe, in a week or two. So awesome, man. Awesome. 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 Yeah. It's both on. I'm really excited about this. I'm a big Walking Dead fan. Um, I haven't watched it since the beginning, but I have seen all the episodes. Uh, well, caught up on them on Netflix. I think I got into it probably season six, maybe. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. The so the first time, go ahead. Yes, yeah, same here, man. Like I didn't start watching it till after yeah. I shot my scenes with them. Then I had to go back and watch the other seasons, and after that, I was hooked, man. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. So the first question I got for you: How did you get your start into acting? Man, uh, the very first acting thing, acting job I ever got was um. Oh, I started out modeling, and um, the first acting job I got was walking out of um college at Georgia State, where I used to go. And um, a girl stopped me. She pulled me to the side and asked me if I wanted to be in a movie. You know, and at first I wasn't familiar with anything. So I was like, you know, what are you talking about? Like, I'm, I'm thinking something crazy, you know. And then it ended up being um, the movie Joyful Noise with Queen, uh, Queen Latifah and Dolly Parton. All and right. um, they were looking for, yeah, looking for um, background for a club scene. And, um, you know, she said, you know, you have a nice face. We think we could find a place for you there. And I was like, sure, you know, cool. And um, something just told me, just go with it. You're out of class. Why not see what it's about? And um, ended up being a pretty cool scene. I got, do, got, got a chance to do it, man. I got hooked after that. And I met all the casting people and they just started sending me out on more and more jobs, man, after that. Yeah. That's awesome. Did you meet Dolly Parton on the set? I did it, man. I got a chance to um, meet Queen Latifah um, briefly oh, nice. and, um, and Kiki Palmer, too, and they were amazing. So that was really cool. But I really wanted to get a chance to meet Dolly, but I didn't get a chance to meet her, man. Yeah. Oh, well, that's yeah, awesome, though. Cool. That's awesome. So <laughs> how did you happen to land the iconic zombified role of Mike on The Walking Dead? Man, um, it was another just chance kind of thing. Like, um, A Walking Dead was actually the third thing I even did career-wise at the time. So, like, it was just like, a, you know, just like a blessing that came out of nowhere. But um, at the time, I was just looking for more roles to submit to. And um, back then, they were still allowing um, submissions through the mail. So I just decided to send my limited resume at the time and my head shot in. And I just said, you know, here you go. Like, I'll see what comes of it. And they ended up calling me, man, like two weeks later at 4 a.m. and they said, hey man, this part just opened up and asked me if I wanted it. And I was like, you know, sure, why not? Like I, like I said before, I didn't know anything about the show. So it was just, you know, I'm just thinking something I can put on my resume and just go from there. And I'm ended up being this big thing, man. Like I had no idea it was gonna be that, you know, like no idea, no idea, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Definitely. So before you started filming or even when you first started filming, did you happen uh, to get told the backstory of Mike? What his backstory was? I knew nothing, man. Like I went in completely blind. Like, um, yeah, like I would have people like walking up to me, like after I got done filming saying like, do you know who you were? Like you were somebody important. And I was like, no, I, I played a zombie. I, I don't know. You know, I, I don't know anything about this show, you know, right. it just kind of went over my head. So um, <laughs> after I had got done um, working with them, then I had to go back and watch the other seasons. And that's when I figured out, okay, that's who I was. You know, then it started making sense. Cause by then I was reading the comic books and the compendiums and stuff. And like, then I started understanding exactly what the backstory was. And then I was like, holy crap. Like I'm now I'm excited. You know, I was, I was really, <laughs> Acquire this, you know. And then yeah. later on, I found out, you know, about the cover Entertainment Weekly. We got a chance to be on, and the action figures and stuff they made out of us, and it just it became this huge blessing, man. Yeah, yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. And I know you got to work with iconic actress Denai Garia. Yeah, and she's incredible, man. Amazing. That's amazing. awesome. What was it like working with her? She was so nice, man, and like such a professional and like mm -hmm. she just really was just, you know, really not really kind and just really open and, you know, always there to help. And, you know, if we had any questions, she was always willing to answer and stuff. And like she's just such a professional, such a badass man and beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's just like Absolutely. incredible. man. Like He's a great person to be around. Yeah, man. Yeah. that's awesome. Uh, so we know that your look for um, the zombified version of Mike, you had this, you know, the facial zombification, you know. How was yeah. that special? How did the SFX team do the makeup on that? And how did they give you no arms? Man, it was incredible. Like when they told us what they were going to do in the back of my mind, I was like, there's no way they're going to be able to do this. Like, it's impossible, you know. But um, they ended up, um, it was, they're incredible, man. Like Kevin Wasner, um, Greg Nicotero, like, dude, they're, they're magicians, man. They're, they're such artists, man. But um, 
for like our jaws to make it like it got cut off. They actually built our faces out to make them longer than what they were. And they put the prosthetics down our necks and down our chins to make it seem like it got shot, got, got cut off. And the way they shot it was like from that from that angle, it was like it looked like an optical illusion almost, and it made it seem like it was completely gone. Mm -hmm. And for the um the arms, they um they took our arms off with um blue and green screen sleeves and they made it seem like it was really invisible. Yeah. Here's my little buddy right here, Tyson. Yeah. Say what's oh, up, that's, bro. Oh, he's so <laughs> cute. <laughs> that's uh, awesome though. And uh yeah. and I mean it's really movie magic what you can do with special effects and i mean especially being helmed by greg nicotero he's an absolute wizard legend man yeah i'm telling you man legend man. he's amazing man the stuff yeah. that they can do that they just put on paper and then bring out to reality man like they're incredible yeah what was it like uh working with him was uh, like was he like did he give any like tips or any suggestions at all he's awesome man like i remember like when i first met him like the first um like uh well the first you know introduction or what or whatnot mm -hmm. but like when i was like trying to think about like how to walk like a zombie like i was just like thinking like okay just i don't know like i've seen a lot of zombie movies and most of the zombie movies i've seen they're like resident evil where they're just you know trucking like they're track stars man and yeah. they were like no we don't we're not those kind of zombies y'all like a lot slower and the best advice he gave was okay imagine it's 3 a.m you're drunk and you're looking for your car keys and when you do it it's like literally <laughs> it's like you're just Jerking your neck back and forth and dragging your legs. Yeah. And it looks perfect on screen, man. Like, it's so funny. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. So what was the best part about filming The Walking Dead? And what was the worst? Man, the best part for me was just learning. Because, like, I was, like, still somewhat new to filming and everything at that time. So, like, I was still just, you know, wanting to know, like, how these things are done. Special effects and how scenes are cut and how they bring merge everything together and for me, it was just learning and being around, you know, a lot of other actors and just learning from them as well. And just, you know, being in the element because I love, I love working. I love, you know, working on films and stuff and like that. That's, that's, that's my safe haven, man. I, I love it, you know, and um, that was the most exciting part for me. Probably the hardest was, you know, the Georgia heat, man. Because yeah. like, you know, with all that stuff on, it's like, it's like, an extra layer of skin and you're like baking in there man so it's like you're trying to stay um professional at the same time you know they keep a lot of fans and stuff on to keep us cool but it's still just you know you never really get used to it and for me also because like when we were filming i was blind like we were all blind both of us we were blind like and um, we couldn't see anything around the, the edge we couldn't see anything like straight on it was completely black and like the only thing we could see was like the light around the edges because they put marble lenses in our eyes so like when um, Denai was really tugging us to show us where to walk, she was really showing us where to go because we couldn't see anything. So like that was kind of nerve wracking too, man, not being able to see like while walking through the woods and stuff. Is, yeah. It was kind of crazy. Yeah, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Nice, nice. So how long were you in the SFX chair for? Uh, about two and a half hours every day, man. Two and a half hours. Yeah. And how many days did you film? Was it like five days a week type of thing? It was a couple of weeks man yeah like on and off back and forth yeah so like okay. it was it was back and forth man yeah nice nice that's awesome um so the last question i do got for you is i want you to plug anything you got going on is there anything that you have in, in the works project wise website social media anything that you would like to promote to the listening and the viewing audience definitely man um there's a couple other shows that i've been on do that that's still in circulation um i was on i did a co-star role on um, usa queen of the south I was on HBO's Watchmen, um, BT American Soul, um, Attack of the Southern Fried Zombies, like a, it's like a, a, a cult movie that's going on a couple of different um, streaming networks. Um, I just got done working on BT um, Tales, um, had a co-star role in that. Hopefully that'll be out soon. And um, I also wrote two books right now that are out on Amazon Prime that are about um, improving your mental health and creating the life that you want. There, one of them is called I Am, and the other one was called Your Life is Meant to Be Easy, and um, they're on Amazon, and um, they're also on my personal website, MosesMosley.com, and um, if you know you want to follow me on social media, um, at Moses Mosley on um, Instagram, Twitter, um, TikTok, everything, and you can just Google, and if you can't find me on any of that, just Google Moses Mosley, and everything will pop up, so, yeah, man. Awesome, and I saw that you also have those Funko Pops uh, ready to be yeah, signed. Yeah, man. It's really cool. We do, man. Yeah, yeah, we've been getting them in the mail and stuff, and we try to um, sign them and send them out as fast as we can like it's that awesome. still blows my mind man every time i see one it blows my mind man. yeah <laughs> that is awesome it really is and it's been an honor to interview you um I, like Thank i you. said like there's a few zom uh, zombies that are, that are memorable like there's some that you know yeah. played by sony thompson obviously there's yours and the shays that are Thank amazing you. like those like there's not many like there's so many walkers in the movie i mean in the yeah, show yeah. and yeah, yeah. there's only a few that actually stand out and you and the shay both of your zombies because you. you guys are pretty much the same thing um are 
like the iconic memorable zombies because you had a huge part in that season and actually had a backstory to you thank you so much man thank you it's still a blessing man it's just really exciting to be a part of something that's so big you know around the world so it just, I'm just grateful for it, man. Definitely. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. And I thank you so much for joining me, Moses. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Thank you, man. You as well. Yeah, Thanks so yeah, much. Thank man. you. Thank Have you. a great rest of your day. Awesome. Right. You too. Bye. Bye.